Nigel Travis is Duncan's CEO. The second generation is a group that's more retail oriented. They're into the systems. They're into the guest service. They're into managing the business. Many of them have been to business school. We went from a mom and pop style of business to more of a corporate thought process, more of a network thought process. Panjwani's sons, Amin and Ali, helped computerize the management system with Duncan's encouragement. They came to us and said, you know, today you have three stores, and tomorrow do you see yourself having ten stores? And how would you run those ten stores? Dad and Amin used to drive around everywhere to pick up information. Now we've got servers, they can get online easily. Today, the Panjwani family owns 23 stores and plans to grow. Regardless of ethnicity, 90% of the newest stores are open by current franchisees. One donut from start to finish is um, about an hour. Vishal Shah and two partners decided they could increase efficiency by building a centralized baking facility. It's an opportunity to say, okay, this little segment will focus on just making donuts and doing it right. Beautiful looking, fresh donuts. It's the American dream in a box. Be your own boss, retire rich, and all from someone else's business plan. Go inside the franchise biz, where little guys can make it big. Every red pin represents an open store, so there's about 697 pins on here. Or lose it all. I've talked five franchisees out of suicide. A CNBC original, Darren Ravel reports, Behind the Counter, the untold story of franchising. Premieres Wednesday, 9 Eastern on CNBC.